Alrighty, we're underway here today. Plan is to hopefully encounter some mangrove jacks for lunch, would be nice. And uh, on top water, we're gonna try to get them all on poppers today. Grunner's never been in to the mangroves to do this sort of fishing. And we've gotta go a bit slower as we go in here. It is a bit sketchy as we come in. I've been up in here before, we just um, can see there use these tracks it gets shallow as we get up closer tinny's up the front and he'll deploy the electric once we get into the shallows we'll turn the murk off and trim it right up and just go in on the electric because it is really shallow and we'll just work all those edges and have a look for a few mangrove jacks we'll get back to you when we're in there a little bit of work to do to get in there we've made our way into the mangroves here we haven't even put a line in and we've come in, we've just noticed a croc just sitting over here. Typically, don't see that many crocs in this area. So I thought we'd take this quick opportunity, chuck the drone up before we rig up and get into a few fish. He's not scared at all, he's stayed up the whole time just watching us. Absolutely amazing. Righto, these are the options. So we've made it into the mangroves. A uh, bit of rids on, because I'll tell you what, you get into the mangroves, I'll take, bring something with you for insect. We're gonna use some shallow running bombers, but I think mainly, I know what I'm using. You guys can choose your own lure, but I'm using that guy. It's a cone popper, killer lure. Makes a nice bloop, get that close to the mangroves, and we are fish on. So we're using a little cone popper today. There's no pivot point other than what we're gonna tie with the loop knot. There's no split ring, so I always like to go with a little loop knot. So whichever loop knot you'd like to use, go for gold with that one. I'm using a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. And I just like to have a small loop knot. Don't need something too big so it doesn't get tangled in any hooks. Run that back through wet that knot, always do that, and then put just a heap of pressure down on that. Trim up some of that tag end, like yay. That lure is good to go. Fluorocarbon leader, 30 pound braid, and I'm using an SLX on just a small soldy rod, it's about six and a half foot barra combo, and that there is good to go, and we'll get a crack at some of these jacks. Let's get into them. Oh, no, it's a queenie. Queenie? Yeah. There's yeah, all sorts of fish cruising through the edges here. I'll have a go at this guy. Couldn't help himself from the <coughs> pop up. Here we go, and there we go. Oh, Queenie, yeah. gone, thank you. So we've set ourselves up, just the wind is coming from this direction. It is quite breezy out wide, even though in here is nice and protected. Running the electric into the breeze along the edge of the mangroves and just sort of prospecting all the way in. And as you can see, there's a bit of activity on top water. So if there's anything keen, it's gonna smash it, but 
So just going into the wind with the electric motor is going to make it a lot easier for you to navigate rather than trying to have the boat hook around different ways on the way back through as we just slowly work our way up. Jacks are fine, once you do get onto them, they do spook up a bit, so we've sort of got to be covering some ground. Um, and when you get the opportunity, whack one, but you just, they don't seem to stage up in a big area where you just can repetitively keep catching them. They seem to, in this clean water, if you get a couple, then they sort of wise up to lures flying in at them and you've got to keep moving. So it's a matter of just trying to go along these edges here and try to find them. Had one queenie on so far and something else that came out that might have been a jack, but otherwise a little bit quiet so far. Keep cut. Righto. Well, we've fished this whole section for probably about nearly, geez, be a nearly a kilometre of coastline along here. We've seen a couple of jacks, haven't landed one, so at the moment we're singing for our supper. We've dropped a queenie, and I think it's time we head through the passage and try another spot, see where we're going to be able to find these fish. Just not happening in here, just not enough activity, and get away from that crocodile that's been following us. Let's go. Righto, this is the same process again, we've just moved to another spot, so at the current state we're eating salt and vinegar chips for lunch, but um, hopefully things can change. Just got to keep sort of sniffing around until we can find these fish really, we've just come to a totally different area. We'll just head in here and have a bit of a look. The breeze is picking up so it's a good time to be getting tucked and right into these mangroves and we'll just inch all the way around on the electric and uh, hopefully we can get a couple of jacks. Fingers crossed. That's in good jack territory up there. It's a fine line to try to get the ultimate cast in to get a result because we saw a good jack in here that ends up being some four wheel driving to get the uh, that lures in deep. He's in real deep. Bit of teamwork, it's all good and we're out. Good work. I feel like a switch has got to be flicked here, I reckon that's on that tide, eh? Because we're in the prime, oh, Grunner, that is a brilliant cast. I don't want Grunner to outdo me. Yeah, try something different, you reckon? Thing is, we're not seeing anything, not um, hearing typical mangrove noises, I guess you could say. Yep, yeah. oh, yep, yeah. Jack, there we go. Oh, get in. Yes. Uh, well, I'm eating. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. There we go. A little bit of jack down. Get in the boat. Yes. That is me fed. You guys are starving eating two minute noodles or chips. I don't know what you're going to be eating. I'll just spot lock us there anyway. There we go. We've got the first jack of the day on the boat. Have a look at this guy. Such a cool, aggressive little species, as you could see there will become lunch. I'll just get that away. Oh, ease up turbo. There you go. 
First jack in the boat for the day. Top water, absolutely crunched it. Love these guys, they're such a cool fish. They taste brilliant too, and um, he's gonna go really nice in a wrap a little bit later. Have Check out those fangs on that guy there. How cool is that? Thanks, mate. Electrics up, and we're off to another spot. The uh, jack's just really not playing the game as we'd hoped they would and um it's gotta keep hunting we've got one and just really quiet in there you know so it might just be a bit on the tide so i think we're just gonna have to go for a hunt around the corner and then might have to just come back here and put a bit of a gauge on that the height of the water in these mangroves tides around this place can be all over the place so it's hard to sort of say but anyway we'll just keep having having a go perseverance and we'll get them that's for sure a new location, maybe fish on, <laughs> hopefully. Got to keep searching. Gunner's now on the gold bomber. We'll stick with the top water and uh, get in around these mangroves and see if we can't find these elusive mangrove jacks. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tinny's on to a good one. Spot lock. Oh, the old godly codly. What do you want? There's a uh, not an uncommon bycatch in the mangroves. The old cod, estuary cod. He'll uh, go back because we're having jacks, even though we're struggling to catch them. See you, buddy. We wish we kept in later. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Runner gets the cast. That deserves Jack Town. I'll tell you what, we're on absolute struggle street here. Queenie? Jack on you! Yes, good work, Runner. Turn, turn. Yes. Turn. Yeah, good one. Yeah, nice, Jack. Yes. Yeah, yeah, bring him around. Yes, that is a quality mangrove jack. Wow. That is what you call a nice quality mangrove jack out of some tight fishing. It's been a tough day in the office, Grunner. Did you see him going back? <laughs> yeah, he just did not want to get in. Unlucky for you, mate. You are going to be a part of our lunch menu. Thank you very much, Grunner. I think we'll get a nice little photo with you with that guy. That is an absolute cracker. Yes, mate. Yes, that's a quality, quality jack out of the mangroves. Tough going today. The Gold Bomber's got the job done this time round. But that is an absolute stonker for the mangroves. Well done, mate. Well, this is lunch, sort it out and fill it up a little mangrove jack. We've had an interesting day, you could say, in the mangroves. Hasn't been a whole heap of activity, but I'll tell you what, there's nothing better than a nice little feed of mangrove jack. It's just the filleting process. Let's make sure we get as much of the meat off that bone as we can. Lejanus, typical Lejanus breed where they squirt a lot of things out of their other end there of a darker colour so we'll get the two fillets off this fish and then we'll wash the board down before we go ahead and skin these this guy and one more that we have for lunch like so we'll dump this guy out in some deeper water there and I'll just grab a bucket and I'll just rinse that off and give him a skin. Here's a bucket, it's got some holes in it. One I prepared earlier. Put a different knife here, it's something a bit softer to skin this with. So, because we're going to eat this guy straight up in only minutes once we dry, start driving back home. Literally take those bones out and 
just get those pin bones down the middle there. Out as well. And we'll dump that out a bit wider. We've got little wraps today, so we'll just portion it into a few little pieces, like so. Got a little bit of a what we call shake and bake, which is some different herbs and spices mixed with, mixed with some plain flour and um, mix it up, get those pin bones out. Make sure you get them, I've missed one right there, I could feel right there. Get that out, like so. A couple of ribcage bones there, just scalloping off, and that's good. Something like that, and that's going to absolutely taste delish. I'll get the bag, man. Rinse them off with some water that we've just caught the fish in, and we're good to go. That's lunch. Right, I well, this has come to the pointy end of the day where we've worked pretty hard to get a couple of mangrove jacks for lunch. Caught a whole heap of other fish as well throughout the day. It's been an absolute blast, it always is. It's always good catching up with all the crew. And I'll tell you what, some mangrove jack goes down pretty well. So what we've done, we've got the mangrove jacks filleted in a bag. We've got like what we always like to call on Groot, a bit of a shake and bake, which is just different herbs and spices mixed in with some flour, just to give it a bit of a a bit of zang, I suppose you could say. That's what we use in terminology. Pound of butter. Use good butter, and that's pretty well good. A thin pan, so that the gas is right to go. And then we'll just start to sort of lay some of the fish in while that's sizzling. Not too bad, we'll just wait a sec, a little bit hotter. Then we'll get some stuff prepped up, have a nice little wrap. Awesome location, a couple of beers for lunch. That's starting to sizzle nicely now. So there we go. Just get these on. So I'll tell you what, I'm starving. I don't know about you guys. Yep, I think there's a bit of keenness for a little bit of fish to be eaten here, just quietly. So just make sure you get that. The butter is just the goodness. Just love the butter. A good amount of butter is always the best friend when you're cooking a bit of fish. Jeez, we've got a fair bit. I'll tell you what, we've whipped a fair bit off those couple of fish. Honestly, reckon we won't be able to eat it all. Or what? Right, we've absolutely loaded this to the hill. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. That's what's gonna happen. We, I'll tell you what, I reckon at the end of that, there's gonna be nothing left. And we'll cook that through. Just give that a couple of minutes. And we'll get back to you and wash my hands. A little bit of red pepper. One other little trick. You can do no wrong. I'll tell you what, Parmesan, it's not only for pasta. All right, this here is looking mint, so little baby wraps, because that's all we had at the supermarket, not uncommon, so we just take what you can get, a little bit of mangrove jack, fresh with a bit of red pepper, cooked in some butter, a bit of lettuce, and I'll tell you what, for the win, what has become a very popular and staple part of every single person that goes fishing is a little bit of Kewpie. Runner, that's on you. Got a couple more here to wrap up. I'll tell you what, this is gonna go down a treat. We're absolutely starving after a big day on the water. Heap of mangrove jacks. A couple that we've kept here today enjoy this quite thoroughly. I have to admit for lunch. Score. We need to like get a score check on. It's a 10. 
Oh, it's a huge call. Good eye. I'll tell you what, the, what do you reckon? Like with the, not only the fresh mangrove jack, I think the red pepper, kewpie, lettuce, location's good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Jeez. Yeah, okay. Not bad. <coughs> yeah, that's good. Cheers. Been an awesome fishing adventure. Nice little location, awesome backdrop. Chuck the drone up. Just to leave you with what was a pretty cool day in the water. Thanks for coming along. Hope you learned something from it. And if you didn't, hope you enjoyed what we enjoyed. See you next time.